Mid journey? Don't you mean full journey? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make fantastic colouring book pages using Blue Willow AI. Now it's very similar to Mid Journey, but as Mid Journey's popularity has increased, Blue Willow is a great alternative. Hello, my name is Ben McQueenie, and if you haven't been to this channel before, I make videos on how you can make a great passive income from low content and no content books on Amazon KDP. And if that sounds like something you like the sound of, then please subscribe to my channel, leave me a like, and hit that notification bell. So today I'm going to show you a great niche that I found and we're going to create a colouring book for that particular niche using Blue Willow. So don't forget to watch the whole video to see how it all comes together in the end. If you didn't work out from the thumbnail, the niche is Sugar Skull Colouring Books. As you can see here, I've typed that in there. And, you know, in general, we don't have very many uh, competitors there or results. And, you know, you can niche down further if you wanted to for adults or kids or whatever. So we're just gonna have a look at these. Uh, these ones at the top here are all the sponsored ones, so we're not too concerned with them. They're the ones that have been paid for to, to there. Let's have a look for some organic ones here. Um, okay, so these are all not the best of sales, but okay in terms of bestseller rank. Now, if we look at these here, this one looks like a good one. So um, Sugar Skulls. Okay, so it's uh, published by just someone like me or you, <laughs> it's only 70 pages, which is um, very typical. 8.5 by 11, so just a normal colouring book. It's on for 7 99 and the bestseller's rank of about 26,000. So it's making good sales, very good. Let's have a look at how these are built. Um, sugar Skulls for adults, okay. So let's just have a look, oh, very good. Um, description there very good compelling <laughs> so if we'll just have a click on here and let's have a look at what's inside this book so okay so nice little um probably ai generated cover very good let's pull that down oh this book belongs to and you can see the general sort of images these sugar skull things are okay right so what we need to do then is we need to make these images to go in our book okay so if we go to uh, bluewillow.ai okay so it's very simple there's the uh, address there i'll put it in the description as well um, and you need to join the discord server to start knocking these things out so get onto discord and this is what it will look like so this feed is chaos because everyone's putting their um, prompts on and things like that but what you want to do the first thing you want to do is if you come down you want to join one of these rookie rooms so click on one of them um, I'm in just a random one uh, for now. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to ask the, the AI um, by using a prompt to create us some colouring book pages, some sugar skull colouring book pages. But if you look down here, these are all the things that people are putting, you know, and different people want different things, you know. I can see some God of, God of War stuff, you know, the video game. So someone's obviously wanting different images of that. And this, some of these prompts can be huge. Can you see them? And, you know, you can play around with this um, to get what you want. But the uh, the skill is in the, the prompts that you actually write down, I guess. But it's very similar to mid-journey. Okay, right, so let's, um, let's put our prompt in. So what we need to do is we need to type in forward slash imagine. And then we need to put our prompt, okay? So um, our prompt that we're going to put in is going to be um, sugar skull. Let's put that in, uh, comma. Um, then we're going to put a colouring book image. Okay, another comma. A vector. Then monochrome. Then we're going to put in simple because we want it to be simple, not too detailed. Uh, no background and then we're going to put uh, two dashes AR space two uh, dot dot three which gives us a portrait image um, if it was three by two it would be a landscape image okay so that's your prompt there that's what you want to run if you want to these sugar skulls so let's press that 
And what it'll do is it'll say, oh, thank you for the prompt. Very exciting. We're going to give you that soon, okay? Now, this feed is, is, is chaotic. So what you can do is if you go up to uh, this little square box up here, inbox, yeah, click on that, and you can go to mentions here. And these are all the ones that I generated the other day. So as you can see, I was going to use that for a front cover. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And there's some other ones that I've uh, generated previously, just to go in this example that we're talking about today. And as you can see, that's that little uh, showed that. See, that little yellow um, post showed that my images are now complete. And there they are. See, and they look pretty good. Now, if we click on this by going jump to, it'll take us to the actual post. And what we want to do is we want to make these bigger because these are just thumbnails. So if we just press the upscale buttons, so upscale one, two, three, and four. So upscale one is top left, um, upscale two is top right, and so on and so forth. So let's upscale those. Now, if we go back to our little um, inbox, what, what I was uh, talking about before, and there it's already started to do it. So it's upscaled it from thumbnail to a kind of a little bit bigger, but th these images still are very small, okay? So they're not great for using in coloring books. So what you can do is let's just uh, find one that we like. Okay, we like this one. Let's click on that. And, you know, as you can see, it's not very big. So what you want to do is you want to save that image, okay? And if you go up to uh, Pixel Cut, there's the uh, it's image upscaler. I'll put the link in the description and uh, this particular website for free will upscale that image. So I've upscaled that image once there. So two times um, I've done that, uh, the upscale. And then what I'm going to do is actually that fresh one, do it again to make it even better. So we've upscaled it twice there. And again, that's just a free website that you can do that. Then what you want to do is upload it to Canva. Here's some other examples that I've done previously. Uh, this is an 8.5 by 11 uh, template, which is just what a, the colouring book would be. Um, so what we need to do is we need to, you can see there if I zoom in, that that's really good uh, definition there. So that will print really nicely on KDP. So what we need to do is we just need to upload that, that image that we've upscaled twice. Okay, that's going to upload. Fantastic. And then what we can do is just add a blank page because it's a colouring book, so you want the blank page, the page on the back to be uh, not print. So let's just move this into in position. Let's get him, let's get him there so we can see his head. There we go, he's bald like me, bless him. Oh, never mind. Uh, what you can do, if you've got the pro version of Canva, you can just remove that background, or you can keep it. It's up to you. I'll just remove it, just to make it a bit more uh, colouring book-esque. There we go, simple as that. And look at that, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So if we zoomed in on this, you can see that, you know, this is still very good definition for people to color in. And uh, there we have it, that's your coloring book, easy. So that was my video on how to make coloring book pages with Blue Willow AI. Please, if you did find it useful, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any comments, leave them in the box below. Now, if you have a look at this video, I think you may find this useful too. So go and check it out. And until next time, bye.